everybody, I'm here for a quick little video and I have posted a photo on Instagram showing a video that will be coming soon. It is quite a long video. I think after I had about an hour and 20 or 30 minutes worth of footage that I ended up cutting down to about 40 to 50 minutes roughly in there um, and that video is gonna take a, a long time to upload but what I wanted to do is I wanted to while that uploads tease you with a, another video and that is what I am using currently as my system um, one thing I do is I do have my cup of tea here, and today's cup of tea is the Victorian London Fog from Harney and Sons. Um, this was actually a um, anniversary present from the husband, um, a bunch of different teas that I love. And this, oh, it also says it up there, I guess. I didn't realize that. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite teas. I wish we had smell vision it's so, so, so yummy. London Fog is a uh, black tea, and it says with bright citrus, sweet vanilla, and lavender. So it's basically a Earl Grey with lavender and vanilla. Very, very, very yummy. Um, so these are the two notebooks that I'm in right now. This one I've shown I think a little bit more than I have this one. So we'll just do a quick little flip. I have a mild liner from one of the original sets in the blue. I always have a um, some little tabs, some post-its in Project Life cards. I think I got these Project Life cards from Olga like quite a few years ago. And that's like another Project Life card. My WW booklet. Double check to make sure I stayed in the center. Sorry. Um, I have my 2019 monthly calendar. We're now in March. And I thought February was busy. March is quite crazy. And April is even worse because I also have to go out of town for work and there are some things I know I have on these days right here that don't have anything but thankfully May will be a little bit lighter so there's that now here is my March insert my March and all of our bills have been paid um, except the rent check hasn't cleared yet, so that's why I, I've paid it, but I mark it once it gets cleared. Some YouTube ideas, some goals. This is a Bubba Bear Studio sticker. I've been going through my stickers to use the ones that I have. And this is like, I think it's beard goals. That little Bubba Bear has a gorgeous beard, so. And I haven't done a full face photo in a long time, but I have my, my silver beard back again. Um... So, some journaling. So there's my, you know, my March insert. Some post-its. Here is a um, insert that I made. All of the DIY fish inserts have two pages that have dot grid, or not dot grid, but grid. And so I just printed a bunch of them. So I would have a DIY fish grid insert. And this is just, um, I wanna say like hammer mill paper, the white paper that comes in the pack with the green apple on it. Some more little tabby, some little, um, what are those, gray, no. I think reds, reds and greens. Um, so there's that. I took all of my information out of there. Just some cash. Here's my, um, this is a Peaky Dory Design dot grid. And this is what we were filming today. Some lists of photos and what I wanted to do. A video that is way overdue. 
because I do have, for people that like that Wordsworth planner, I have a plan with me that is here somewhere <laughs> in the phone that I need to edit. Um, anyways, and so some... Yeah, I've already purchased. I made a purchase. I was bad. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, well. Um, anyways, and some of the washi that I'm going to use for the next month. Some Allie Brown and some Coco Daisy. And that's kind of about there. And I've got some stickers and stencils in there. So this is my personal planner, my everyday carry. Um, everything that I always have with me. Now... This notebook right here, this one I did an unboxing of recently, and on un, re, unrecently, I mean like maybe October. Um, it is a Foxy Fix. Um, oh, this was a Chic Sparrow. Chic Sparrow personal with the old pockets. It has the secretarial in the front and the back. That's a very old style that they don't do anymore. I wish they did. I love that. Um, but this is a Foxy Fix, and you'll see that it is a single elastic, and this is the uh, Wonderlust Licorice Leather. So it's almost exactly the same as the um, Chic Sparrow Creme Leather, the Black Beauty. Um, so since it's a single elastic, all of this stuff is on one elastic. I have a... Traveler's Notebook folder with some of their stickers and some a pen loop right there. And in the back, some more Traveler's Factory washi and stickers and a Peaky Dory Design monthly calendar. Because I like a monthly calendar and everything. And then some more stickers and business cards. And I got my um, Allie Brown Illustrated Faith um, Bible Journaling Kit. And it came with this beautiful insert, which just happens to be, let me take those out, um, standard Midori size. So imagine that. And I was going through some things, and if you'll remember, Chic Sparrow used to have a blue card like this, um, but they used to stamp a feather on all of their, so you can see this is just some of them, um, and I want to do something with the sparrow feathers in my insert when I'm Bible journaling. Um, so there's her insert, and it came with a stencil, and I had bought a stencil very similar to the one that Allie um, and Shanna, Shanna, Shanna created, um, oh, it goes for a stencil that's in there. Um, and so I do have a piece of paper floating around here somewhere showing, I'm not sure where it is, what they both look like. Um, so those are my stencils. Um, and it came with a beautiful card of Allie's artwork, which I think goes this way, and that should fit in my insert. And oh, here it is. So these in the dark blue on the outside are um, the stencil I got from Amazon, and the ones in the center, and then the exclamation and ampersand are the ones from Allie Brown from this kit. And then it also came with some stickers, some beautiful tab stickers, some words, some of Ali's beautiful artwork. Bride, I guess I'm a bride of Christ. <laughs> um, I might have to do something with that to make it function for me better. Anyways, but then it came with these beautiful stamps of Ali's, which I'm so looking forward to using. And illustratedfaith.com, and I think they're totally sold out of them, which is a good thing, but it's also a sad thing. Um, and then I came with these really cool, um, like, uh, tip-in journal cards that are on acetates with Allie's artwork. So I'll put those back in here. And then this is the insert that I'm going to 
be using. And I've got some of like Ali's washi there. And then some of the different like Coco Daisy, Jane Davenport, MT washies. The solid ones are MT. So I've got some of that in here. So it's just a blank insert that all I've done was this so far. And this is an old one because it says Midori. Um, I actually have quite a few that still say Midori and I'm going to hold on to those. It's just the standard one that comes with a traveler's notebook. Some post-its and Allie's little face there. And then I got some more stickers and like a Chic Sparrow card and Chic Sparrow stickers and some sprocket photos. There's my parents. There's Seamus trying to get at a cheeseburger. There's the husband on Christmas Eve. He was, um, what do they call it, a thurifer? He had to swing, he's a Franciscan, and he had to swing the um, incense. <laughs> You know, just some cute photos that I took that I want to do something with. Um, some extra elastic, some post-it notes. Um, I got this from Amy Graham, Death Wish Coffee. I still have to order some. I still have to try it. One of my favorite places here in Tulsa, La Salle's New Orleans Deli. They have some of the most amazing sandwiches. If you like a shrimp po' boy, or if you like a muffaletta, I mean, they're from, the family is from New Orleans, and it just reminds me of when I lived in Baton Rouge and all the wonderful places I used to go. Some, and some other stickers, and actually. That is where these go. I should put those in there, it makes sense to keep them there. Um, so that is what I have, and these are the only traveler's notebooks that I am using. Um, I did order something from Chic Sparrow, which I won't um, give it away what it is, but it's very similar to these, um, and it's more in the vein of this size than this. Um, this is still going to be my wallet, my personal planner, my everyday carry on the go, and then I'm going to be doing all of my journaling in the standard Midori size because that is the size that I love the most. So there you are. I just thought I would give you a little taste of what I am using and um, expect in the day or so that other video to finally upload. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.